All right, so we are moving on to our third platinum red, and this is the uh, Mas de Volk, uh, Volke Rouge. It's the 2015 vintage. Uh, this is from the uh, Douche Douzes uh, AOC, one that I admittedly wasn't very familiar with before this club started. It's a super new AOC. It's kind of located towards the southwestern portion of Cote de Rhone, um, and it, again, much like our earlier example of Rhone, um, in the Gold Club, the Bon Pass, this displays a little bit more Mediterranean climate. It's a little bit warmer there, uh, which will pretty, you know, reasonably translate into the wine, as you'll see in a bit. Uh, so they don't give us much oak time, but everything about this doesn't scream Rhone to me. It's 15.5 ABV, which for a French wine is almost unheard of. You're almost getting into Vindu Naturel or like fortified wine levels when it comes to old world fortified wines, especially from France and regions like that. Um, it's equal part blend of Syrah, Grenache, and Carignan. Um, so, you know, Rhone varietals mixed with Carignan, which is generally seen as kind of almost like an old vine varietal, especially to the American market. Um, but it results in a really just fantastic wine overall. So let's let's get into it a little bit. So just from the color, you can see, I mean, it is insanely rich. We're looking at a dark ruby. Um, it's clear for the most part. They definitely filtered and find uh, the wine before bottling it, um, though there is a little bit of rim variation towards the end. So maybe, you know, there's a touch of residue left in the glass or in the bottle, rather. And this wine really brings it with the savory notes. There's there's a ton of fruit. There's there's red and black fruits there, but you also get an immense amount of earth, and you almost get this like tar aspect. Something very petrol tar. There's another term I saw somebody use when talking about this wine specifically, and I can't think of it off the top of my head, but it's this pleasant chemical note. And I know that doesn't sound appealing with wine, but believe me, it, it's it's found in some of the best examples of various styles of wine all throughout the world. And it just has to do with the various phenolic compounds that are found in it. So it smells huge. It's, you know, the alcohol's there, it doesn't smell hot, but you can tell just right off the nose that this is going to be a massive wine. Um, so let's get into it. Yeah, that is awesome. So that red and black fruit comes through immediately. Think blackberry, think black cherry, think really rich, like macerated um, raspberry notes in there. Um, body is very heavy overall. Uh, firm tannins, even at 2015, they're still holding pretty strong. And I believe they're already to the 18 vintage on this. So this is, this is seen a couple years in the bottle. Um, acid balance it balances everything out. Um, those kind of tar notes from the nose disappear and replace with just this um, unrelenting earthiness and minerality, which kind of adds a, a more savory aspect to the immense fruit in here. Um, overall, you know, at 15, this is drinking super well. Um, everything is just in balance. Everything tastes perfectly in align with each other. And, you know, on a French list filled with a bunch of reds, you'd expect most of them to be paired with steak. And so I try not to say pair this with steak, pair this with steak, because I'll end up talking about the whole list that way. Um, but if there was one wine on the list to pair with like a ribeye, this would be it. Just based on the fruit, based on the savory aspects, the structure of the wine, it just screams for something really decadent and rich to pair with its own uh, decadence and uh, richness overall. So yeah, 